How to Jailbreak the Apple TV 2 Running iOS 6.1 Step 1 Head over to iDownload Blog, click our Downloads link at the top, and then scroll down until you see the Season Pass section, which should be near the bottom, and download Season Pass. Step 2 Drag the Season Pass app to your desktop, double click it to open it up. You can check automatically for updates if you want. Then click the Create IPSW button and let Season Pass do its thing. It's actually going to download the Apple TV. 5.2 firmware, which is the 6.1 firmware, um, and it's going to take a while to download this, so just be patient. Once the download is complete, then you should see validating IPSW, unzipping IPSW, a number of messages to actually prepare the jailbreak. It's, it's basically patching the IPSW, creating a new IPSW firmware file that is jailbroken that you can restore your Apple TV to with. So again, this process takes a little while. I've sped up the download section, but I've kept this as is, so you can kind of see each of the steps, creating IPSW, et cetera, et cetera. Eventually, once this process is completed, you'll get a message that says you need to place your device, your Apple TV, into DFU mode to prepare for the restore. So you see the custom IPSW was created successfully. Now we need to connect the USB cable from our Apple TV and follow the instructions. Step three. Now it's just a matter of hooking up your Apple TV 2 device to your computer. First of all, you want to plug in your USB cable, which is a USB micro cable. Make sure it's a micro cable. It'll fit in the little slot right below the HDMI port. And then plug the USB cable, the other end of it, into your computer. Just like that. And then you should see the little LED light flash on the front of the device. Step 4. Once the Apple TV 2 is connected to the computer, Season Pass instructs us to hold the menu and play pause buttons for seven seconds. So that's what we're going to do right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Step five. After a few seconds, Season Pass will recognize your device in DFU mode. It'll open up iTunes and it will start its custom firmware recovery process. This takes a little while, so you're going to have to be patient here. You're going to see things just happen automatically. Just leave your mouse alone. You don't have to perform any steps manually. This will actually open up iTunes, navigate to the place where the firmware is stored and restored by itself. So just be patient. You'll see this waiting for device to enter DFU mode for a little while longer. Eventually, though, you should see it recognize it. Found device in DFU mode just like that, and it'll start the restore process. So you'll see everything just you know operate on its own. There's nothing that you actually need to do yourself. You don't need to click anything. Just put your mouse to the side and grab some pop popcorn and just relax and let this thing finish the jailbreak. So now we have our iTunes open. You can see it automatically opens up the location of the firmware. It'll actually go to the direct location right there. There's where the firmware is stored. And it will restore your Apple TV 2 to version 5.2, which is iOS 6.1. You can see it extracting software. So this looks just like a normal restore with your iPhone or with your Apple TV, uh, but it's actually restoring using that custom firmware. And that is really what makes this possible. It's restoring a, a jailbroken uh, firmware to your Apple TV too. Again, this portion does take quite a bit of time. So as you can probably tell, I've sped this up a few times to get through this in a reasonable amount of time. So just be patient. You can see it verifying the Apple TV software. And uh, it's going to continue to verify here. Not too much longer, we'll have to wait, and then we should have a completely restored Apple TV 2. So again, it's best to just you know go somewhere and uh, just let this thing work by itself because it's going to take a while. It's going to frustrate you if you just sit here and stare at it restoring. So now it's actually restoring the Apple TV firmware. Still working. Still processing. Just a few more seconds left, not too much longer. So your Apple TV has been restored to factory settings. Please disconnect your Apple TV from your computer and reconnect it to your TV. So the hard part is done, ladies and gentlemen. We are now jailbroken. You can actually close out of Season Pass. Just hit the Done button there, and then you can Command Q to quit out of Season Pass, just like this. Step 6. 
Now the hard part is done. We can disconnect our USB micro cable from our Apple TV too. You can remove it from your computer as well. And now we'll hook up the power cable, of course. And we'll get ready to hook this thing up to the TV. So there's the power cable. Get that plugged all in. Okay, you should see the light come on once you have it plugged in. There it goes. And now we want to hook up our HDMI cable. And that, of course, goes right above where the USB micro cable was. Just plug that in like that and then hook it up to your television. And we should be good to go. Step seven. Once your device is hooked up, you'll have to configure it again, set up your Wi-Fi network. I'm not going to fool with setting up the Wi-Fi network in this video. I'll just hit the menu button to get out of that and say no thanks to the privacy policy. Okay, and you should see the Firecore logo right there on the settings app. If you don't have your Wi-Fi connection configured, then your screen will look just like mine. If you do, it'll look a little different, obviously, but you should still see the Firecore logo on the settings app. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you jailbreak the Apple TV running the latest firmware iOS 6.1 or Apple TV firmware iOS 5.2 using the latest version of Season Pass. It was very easy to do. Now, that you're jailbroken, if you actually want to use or take advantage of your jailbreak, you need to install some applications. I'll have a link to a tutorial that shows you how to do that, how to use something called ATV Flash Black to get more out of your Apple TV too. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.